So let's get into the guy, the star of last year's training camp. The guy that everyone thought was going to be a pro bowler in his rookie year for some reason, based on how they <laughs> talked about him. Yeah. Trey Hawkins the third Esquire. And no, the Esquire is not really part of his name, obviously. We're just adding <laughs> that for fun. Um, 23 years old, turns 24 in August, six foot three, really tall for a corner, 195 pounds, six round pick last season out of Old Dominion. Uh, last year, 17 Graceful. games, three starts, 35 tackles, one pass deflected, and a 52.6 PFF grade. And I think the, the big key question is basically why did he look so good at the preseason last year? I don't just mean the preseason games. I mean training camp, everything. Like it was national news how good he looked. Like guys like Peter King were going to the Giants camp saying how good he looked, and they just disappeared and fell apart as the season started. Yeah, well, I mean, you got a six-round pick out of Old Dominion. <laughs> yeah, but it's weird. Like, and like, I'm not, like you I'm got not guys trying who to know football put... though. You got guys who know football watching him saying this guy's amazing. How did he drop to the sixth round? For... They were saying how amazing he was for the pick that we got him at. That's no, they were saying point he blank, was. he's going to be a starter, and he looked really good. Point blank. There was a lot of that. And, and, but, and that was the plan the Giants had. They were moving to get Dory into the slot. He's going to be the outside with Banks. We're going to start two rookie corners. We just start. We, we, I mean, we did talk about that, so like, we can't like deny any of that. But It did start that way. I mean, It did start that way. That's what you said. Yeah. But it's crazy when you go against third string, yeah, receivers in the preseason and second, third string quarterbacks in the preseason. Of course, you're going to look great when you're the starter that's going to be taking over that, you know, CB2 spot. Do you but think- Part of this might be also, and I hate to be mean to him on his birthday, but do you think part of this might also be because he was facing Daniel Jones in practice? Ooh, ooh. Like, I hate to be a jerk about it, but... Yeah. It's not like he was playing great QB people in, you know, practice there. Just Trey saying. Hawkins got a nice interception for Daniel Jones for his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like I said, you know, considering how bad he looked last year, you kind of have to wonder a little bit if that's part of it. I'm just saying. I mean, saying. they said that during the preseason as well. So, like, that's not just saying Danny Jones. There's oh, I'm players. not saying it's just him, but the practice is when everybody got all hyped up on him way before, yeah. you know. You know, everybody thought it was amazing looking, you know, but, you know, he's going against Tommy yeah. DeVito and Tyrod Taylor and Daniel Jones. It wasn't like we had a good quarterback in that bunch, really. Should, Again, yeah. not to be rude, just trying to be blunt and honest. It's that Jersey bluntness. <laughs> hey, Gabadagoo. Our best receiver <laughs> was at number three spot. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening to Two Giant Goofballs, a New York Giants podcast. We appreciate your support. Thanks so much.